So I'm just heading down to the dealerships and we are going to buy ourselves a cultivator. That is the first thing that we need to do because we need to cultivate that cotton away. We also need to mow our grass field. We, we kind of need to get on with stuff, but at the same time we need to be very, very frugal with our money. Um, because we've got 284. There's a lot of stuff that we need to get. There's a lot of stuff that we um, don't need to get, but could do with having. <laughs> it's, it's a very tricky situation that we're in but luckily we're not terribly far away from the dealers so we will just pop in here I have no idea where stuff spawns I've not taken any notice of that I think it's in the middle um, that's the cell point I think. I think it spawns there somewhere can't remember so let's go in here I've already had a quick look to see I've installed stuff so I just made sure that it was already here cultivators I'm dead keen on one and I can't have it because we don't have enough horsepower and that's this one I really like this cultivator the biggest one requires 195 horses um, and it does a 5.8 so nearly 6 meter I love it absolutely love it it's um it's Labelled up as a lizard, it's orange. I'm going to go with it might be being the Razor. I think it's Razor. Something like that. I love it. I think it looks great. But we don't have the power for it. So we're going to go with this little puppy for a minute. She only needs 120. She does 6 metres. So it, it's considerably cheaper. So Sense says to me, we'll buy that. So we'll have that. Oh, what's going on here? We don't want to buy it again. Um, the other thing that we need is a drill. Now, I downloaded a drill. <sighs> Didn't realize that it required so much horsepower, so I haven't got anything else mod-wise. That's the Weaving Sabre Tine. Um, <sighs> needs 200 horses. It's 8 meters it does. It's old school looking and I liked it. 26, 26, well 27 it is to buy. Mm. We'll hold off of that just for a second whilst I decide on what we're going to do because obviously we're going to need a, a more powerful tractor. The, the Ford does have the TW25 modded engine put into it which gives it 100 and a hundred and come on Zebra there we go gives it a hundred and fifty two horsepower um, but obviously issues 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 so that is our cultivator so I think we'll, we'll wang that on, we'll get to the field and we'll cultivate it and we'll see where we're kind of at it is actually, it's not I mean I was looking at the other one because it's big and beefy it's not as wide as this one it's twice the money I don't know I just like fancy stuff now we're back. I'll just um, I'll just point out. I did get rid of the car. I haven't sorted out the grass for whatever reason. Why did I? I just must have forgotten to do it actually. But the car is gone, so we're okay there. Um, I do want to put some greenhouses in. Um and various other things a manure storage point I would like to have in hey up come on let's not miss bits we want this done nice there we go you knows it you knows it don't you 
Let's cultivate right out to the side. This should give us a full state of fertilizer in here, so organic organic um, 101 big plus so far so we're not going to be using any fertilizers as of yet I tell you what this ain't doing such a bad job I was uh, I was concerned that we was going to have issues <coughs> the Ford is she slow on the road she is slow on the road she's not underpowered it's just geared slowly so I may take a minute or two just to change some bits and pieces to address that for us this is a damn fine field isn't it size wise I think we should go with a profitable crop, maybe split the field. Because we're going to need, oh, come on, we're going to need, um, we're going to have needs for things. Not sure whether I'm going to do any animals in this series or not. If it's something you fancy, let me know in the comments. Uh, obviously don't want to do cows because we're doing those on Attingham but if there is animals that you wouldn't mind seeing I think sheep would probably be the best way to go with this <coughs> I think as well as our chickens obviously oh come on it's not fair it keeps missing bits um, I don't know, yeah, let me know in the comments if you fancy some animals or not. We're going to have to leave the stones in, I don't want to get involved in stone picking, not quite yet. Although it could be helpful later on, at this precise moment. It's an unnecessary procedure. We just want to get stuck into some crops, don't we? Anyway, I think uh, I think we'll go for the old time lapse situation now. Well, this has been jolly fun <laughs> actually it's not been too bad time-consuming obviously big field didn't realize it was quite as big as it is but it is a pretty big field which I haven't got a problem with because it means that we can get a good amount of crop in here so I'm happy about that I'm still contemplating whether we're gonna put two crops in or not, split it 
this bit of land up here is looking pretty favourable to donate itself to another cause with it being so flat yes we will investigate this in a minute so there all that is done we'll just pootle down here lucky we've got a gate there I'm giving me it's very bumpy isn't it very bumpy there's a couple of bits there's a bit there that didn't that's right there's a bit there if we're going to do it we just as well do it properly haven't we so we'll just do that and then as you can see you should be able to see a couple of weird looking green strips over here which means they're not quite vated of the culty in the distance they look green when you're close up the dark but we'll have them just because we can just because it feels a little bit more top top job we'll get these and then I see there are some here also so all in all this cultivator actually um, has surpassed my expectations <clears throat> and for the price it is more than adequate for what we need it to do we can always get a bigger tractor later on and still use this and it'll be fine it does a great job so looks looks a deceiving as always just like school the hot one always turns into a dog <laughs> forward forward there we go no don't do that you don't have access to this land. I don't want to cultivate it, so that's fine. Weird ownerships and all that jazz. <clears throat> Turn you off, Mr. Ford. Now, we don't have our chickens in, just in case anybody was wondering. They've not arrived yet. I packaged them off. They're probably dead. I packaged them off, and they hadn't arrived. Um, poor chicks. Okay, um, so we're... I want to get the greenhouses. I want to get the greenhouses, or you're going to see exactly what I've got. I was going to try and keep some of it secret, but obviously we can't. Production um, greenhouses. So we've got. I've got the maple syrup production, which I'm, I'm keen on using. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use it in this one. Um, but we have these different individual fruit types. So we've got strawberry, tomato, and lettuce, and we've got watermelon, and then whatever that one is, not entirely. Oh, melon, just plain old melon. Then we've got these ones, seeds and fertilizer, seeds and fertilizer. Uh, and then I've got this foil tunnel. Um, and I don't know whether I don't know what these take, if they take manure or not. I've not... I've not tried them yet. How much is it? It's five grand for that. And like I said, it could... work up here. You know? We could plonk a couple just here. That would cost us five, five and a half. I don't know whether they take fertilizer. So if I put them in and they do take fertilizer, let's see. We got any info on it? No. If 
if they take fertilizer I've got to get rid of them so we'll just put one in there for now uh, and we'll we'll see if it takes fertilizer we'll have to get rid of them I'm afraid because it's just not it's not where we're going if we can use manure I just love the concept of it look it just it's brilliant it's brilliant I don't know where the I'm guessing they spawn this side because we've got the flatter plane it hasn't actually given us a flat plane there let's see then disappointment here it comes they just take water outstanding I'm just gonna have one then <clears throat> I'm just gonna have the one hello fellas oh this is our spawn end oh cool okay so they spawn this end so we're gonna have to put a bit of terraforming and stuff going on there I'm not gonna do that right now let's come down here now these other ones which ones were the ones that just take manure well they clearly have a manure situation going on here oh wow Overlaps with what object? What is going on? Is there's clearly things going on here that shouldn't be. That's where that house was. But I got rid of all the collisions for it. So I wonder if there's something weird in there. I want to make sure this goes in nice, which it won't, will it? Oh, it has pushed it down. Excellent. Okay, so you took the lowest point for once. Um, okay, so let's take a look at you. Manure goes in there, doors open, water goes there, nicely labelled. Okay, corral. Just water and manure. Yes. Yes. That's nice. <clears throat> I like that. So the poop goes in there. We've got the spawn area just there, which is cool. I'm happy with it. Oh, it's the tree that's causing an issue. Okay, let's uh, let's do a bit of terraforming. I'll do a time lapse of it. I think. Okay, so we've done that. We're gonna select our watermelon. to be as it'd be nice to be able to get rid of that box at the bottom so you can actually see what was going on so I think that's right oh how are we going to get to the Born. I have to come come this way is quite a quite a ways aren't we there I think that'll do it Ooh. let's 
shit. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm okay with that. We can terraform this. That is uh, as it expected as it can be. <laughs> so a bit more fettling. Just there, uh, and then we'll do a bit of paint work. That'll be fine. I'm sure that'll be fine. It's close, but it'll be fine. Okay, we'll go back to a bit of time lapseness. Here we go, I think that is pretty much it for that. We don't want to go on the shed, do we, Seba? No, we want to try and keep it looking clean and tidy, really. Not anything fancy, I don't think we do. Let's have a quick peruse there, there might be something worth having. Just for the giggles. What's this? Decorative. Does nothing. Um, would be nice to be able to have a diesel Bowser of some description. Oh, way up. Can I put it over here? Well, apparently, I can put it there. Right next to the house. Alright, well, it'll stink, but we don't live in that bit anyway. <laughs> okay, I think... I think we're done for all that. Let's um, let's have a peruse of the situation. I'm trying to, I'm um, very roughly trying to make that look like a bit of a track going through the field. Not essential at the moment. We should really have a track going to that field over there. But I think what I'll do is I'll just drill in grass around there, and we'll just use that like that. I uh, just noticed that our fence is floating. Hey, up. 
strongly offence that. Uh, so, there we have that. I'm mildly happy. <laughs> I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm with it. I'm, I'm down with it. So, whilst we're here, I think what we'll do is we'll buy our next piece of machinery. And that'll be that for this episode. So I'll get down, I'll get down to the dealers, get rid of that, and we'll buy the next piece of equipment that we want. Here it is then. Let's quickly get in here. I'm thinking we're going to need a, a relatively quick vehicle to collect things. I'm thinking. A yup. That's not right. That's not what I want. Uh, trailers. You will have all seen this by now. It's just been released. Everybody's got excited. What is this? Oh, it's the back for the MB track. Uh, look at that. What's this all about? Conti Hybrid. Oh, balloon tires. Got to be done in there. Yeah. Here we go. Seaber, I'm going to I'm going to contemplate our next move for vehicle. Again, this tractor is slow for getting around the map. She's not the highest of powered machinery. We're going to need something well, I want to use that drill, so we're going to need something that gives us 200 brake horsepower. Ideally. I also need to find out where my chickens are, because I reckon, I reckon that dodgy bloke I got to deliver them, pinched them, probably had them for dinner. Dodgy. Anyway, I'll get this back to the yard and then we'll s we'll sort out what's what's happening, I think. Here it is, the beautiful farm. We might need to name it actually. We might need to name it. We also might need to expand. <laughs> it's gonna get big quick, I'm sure of it. We're gonna find out that we needed more space. Although we do have a rather massive field. But for the time being. This will do. I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. Let's pop you in there. I'm just going to have a quick look at something. No, I had a look to see what tractors we've got. I haven't got anything that's going to be worthy of it yet. So I'm going to have to go off and find a uh, 200 horse sort of tractor. Uh, oh, that needs a bit more leveling now. I didn't realise it was... Mind you, farms, you know, farm. So, oh, I'm, really, I'm really happy with that. But, uh, obviously, next next situation is to get it all loaded up this is coming together quite nicely I probably spent too much money on visual effects I've got to sort out that little fence over there but I don't care I, I, I'm, I'm down with this let me know if you're down with it organic farming Seabur thanks for watching everyone stay safe May the weather be with you.